goal who will get us underway and they are spotted in an all yellow outfit with black letterings and Kumasiya Santigroko also spotted in their all white outfit with white let all red outfit with white letterings and it's Shafiu Mumuni who loses possession so Amos Frimpon is playing with Abdul Ghaniyu in central defense with Augustine Sifa playing at right back and uh, Evans also playing at left back Mano Jemfi falls in the process Mano Jemfi linked with a move to Zesco United already we are hearing that uh, Zesco have actually tabled an offer in the region of $200,000. Koroko is currently considering that particular offer. Free kick is taken. And, uh, Steven Yako got his head to that ball. But that will not trouble the miners. And game will restart. Intimate for Ashgold. Traps one up front. He's looking for Shafiu Mumuni lost possession Osayaji Eric Donko very intelligent left back one of the best on the local front undoubtedly so Donko McCarthy Eric Donko still possess having possession Watara or sent back to Eric Donko is looking for options, has options to his right, decides to send a long searching ball into the area of Kumasiya Santikoroko. And uh, it is uh, in Kroma Amos Kofi. He gets it back. Amos Kofi enters the box. Decides to go solo. And that is very easy for goalkeeper Felix Anna. That is um, in Chroma. who we'll created that opportunity for the miners. Ashanti Gold have an interesting record here at the Kumasi Sports Stadium. They have been very, very competitive in recent times. Remember, they played 1 1 against Koroko in the Jack Cup. It is Ash Gold tearing away. No foul is given. That's an early incursion. Last time Kumasi Asante Koroko played here in this NC competition, they recorded a 1 0 victory over Eduana Stars. And uh, the hero of the day is missing in this game because he received a red card against Midiema at the Takwa TNA Park. I'm talking about Awal Mohammed. Abbas Mohammed, sorry. Amos Fimpon. Shafiq and Chroma. Still and Chroma. And well, Felix Anna nearly lost the ball. His first save was not the best. He's nearly let down by his first save. So it's a battle between Kotsiki Akono and uh, Tanasiewicz Zvetislav. The man from Serbia. 43 year old Serbian tactician came to Ghana as head coach of Brickham Chelsea and he's now in charge of the minors he's also the technical director of Ashgo Sama Osei Ajima Watara well, Watara happens to be the first foreigner to score in this championship a recruited from Ivy Coast Evan Sousu. And so Jordan Opoku has been brought down. He's going to be a free kick in favor of Kumasiya Santi Koroko. Jordan Dako Opoku, 37 years of age. He's played in Albania, Iraq, and Thailand. He spent a chunk of his youthful days in Holland playing for Feyenoord. Kumasiya Santi Koroko on the, on the offensive. Augustin Sifa sent in a teasing cross. Ball is controlled by Ashgold. So 
uh, as gold have scored two goals in this tournament they have failed to concede they have failed to score and have also not conceded in the three opening games in the competition defeated 11 wonders by two goals you know Shafi Mumuni and Watara were on target on that day Watara Salia a chance for us goal what a save Marcia Santikoroko under siege nearly conceded the first goal but credit full max on the part of uh, Felix Anand that was very very close Read this line saved by his foot. Major let off for Kumasiya Santikoroko and Ash Gold, I'm sure. Will not be enthused for that particular opportunity that just went a begging. So Koroko is dominating in terms of ball possession, but Ashko is very have shown that productivity in the last five minutes. Well, Siki Akono at least will be happy to have the likes of Kame Boahin and Kwame Bonsu on the bench. Kwame Bonsu got injured when they played against the Diana Stars. But he is back. And he's good enough to start from the bench in this afternoon's game. The coach keeping faith in Steven Yako, Jordan Opoku. And uh, Prince Aqua. All cleared by Evan Solusu. The falls to appear McCarthy. Player of Kumasiya Santi Kroko is down on the pitch. Oh, interesting to see the two managers in white shirts. The Ash Gold manager is in white shirts. Likewise, Siki Akono is also in white shirt. They have both folded their sleeves. Well, I must say that attendance here at the Kumasi Sports Stadium is nothing to write home about. One of the poorest I have seen in recent times in Kumasi. I'm sure they are still reeling from their exit in the Confederations Cup. Frank Boatin, the Ash Gold goalkeeper, who is in an all green outfit today, sends the ball to Eric Donko. A few has lost possession. Augustine Sifu. Amos Fimpon. Ismail Ghani. Steven Nyako. Missing for that ball is the speed star, Emmanuel James. Oh, he wins the better of the two and he gets a free kick. It was actually brought down by Emmanuel Intimensa, the Ashanti Gold. Right back. He joined the minus three seasons ago from New DBRC United Football Club. So it's a free kick to Kumasiya Santi Goroko. Just about 10 minutes of proceedings already gone. The Porcupine Warriors have a free kick at a very good position. And it is Abdul Safiu. He scored two goals against the Chimani 11 Wonders on Sunday. And was also Koroko's top scorer in the Confederation Cup. That happened. Uh, to Fatal Safiu. 
elbowed the Ash Gold go, uh, 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 player. I think it happened on the blind side of the referee. He didn't notice it. And uh, that's uh, in Chroma. Amos Kofi in Chroma. Oh, so that's the incident. Not as cynical as we earlier thought. Ashanti Gold's last away meeting in competitive football. Their last away victory, I must say, in competitive football. They won by a 3 1 scoreline. And that was uh, in March 2018 when they defeated Accra Hatzevog by three goals to one at the Cape Coast Stadium. James Akamenko, Emos Adai, and Shafi Mumuni scoring for Ash Gold and Joseph Esso scoring for Accra Hatzevog. And that was their last away victory in competitive football. And it happened in the 2018 2019 soccer season which ended abruptly on the back of the number 12 expose <laughs> trying to go down beating in their last two trips to kumasi seven trips to kumasi in recent times they have recorded four defeats and three draws scoring three and conceding 11. Throwing to the minus. Oh, Intimensa decides to send the ball back to where it came from. Unfortunately, Eric Dunko couldn't keep it in play. And the ball goes out. Advantage Kumasiya Santi Koroko. So Ash Gold have played in the Ghanaian top flight since 1985. In 1984, they met Koroko for the first time and the Porcupine Warriors won by one goal to know he was in the finals of the 84 FA Cup. That was some 35 years ago. Apia McCarthy. Eric Donko sprouts one up front and he goes out of play and his advantage Kumasiya Santi Koroko. Emos Frimpon, the captain. He finds Ismail Ghaniu. Signed from Karela United. Won the Premier League with Wow Stars two seasons ago. Apia McCarthy. Jose Ajim. Eric Donko. And it's Ash Gold who have possession. Kumasiya Santi Groko will pick it up. It was interesting to see Imano Ajiman Bedu playing in the heart of Kumasiya Santikorokos midfield. He's a central defender, but the coach prefers playing him in midfield in the absence of Kwame Bunsu, who is out injured, but has returned and is sitting on the bench. Chafi. Apia McCarthy. He finds his reliable partner. James Akamenko. Paul sent to the right hand side to Emmanuel Intimenta. And Emos Frimpong to the rescue of Korok. Prince Aqua. Jordan Opoku. Oh, lovely ball sent up front. Emmanuel Jensen! What a clearance! That was brilliantly done. The pass was absolutely delicious. Came from the foot of Jordan Opoku. That's his trademark. Lovely chip up front. Imano Jemfi did very, very well by controlling it, but he was let down by the final delivery and allowed Samed Ibrahim to clear his lines. This Kumasiya Santikoroko who wins a corner kick 
15 minutes into the game. That build-up was absolutely delicious. Sensational build-up. It all started from Jordan Opoku. A turn for Kotoko! Oh, goal line clearance. Ball cleared from the goal line by the Ash goal defense. And the Skoroko are still building another attack. Here they come. Ball is given away. And it's Ash Gold who now tearing off. Doji. Doji gives the ball to Nkuma Amos. James Akane goes cross. Shafiu Mumuni. Did very, very well. Rolls above the Koroko back line. Got his head to the ball. But was let down by the direction. End to end action here. Two teams probing into their respective halves. Koroko, a few seconds ago, came close to scoring the first goal. And the corresponding attack from Ash Gold also resulting into a goal kick. It was from Pong. Foul product of Sinari, technically invested. Been playing regularly for Kumasi Asante is their first choice when it comes to penalty kicks. He's missed a few, but has scored 99% of those kicks in Koroko's jersey. Augustine Sefer. Steven Nyako let down. And the state Koroko who are building another attack. Samed missing it. This is Jennifer. Ball now with Evans. Once here, Santi Grogo have been making changes to their technical team. The last few months, they have changed as many as four go uh, referees, actually four coaches. Piacono replaced Parkwesi Fabian. Stravko Lokarozic was around. Started the uh, season very well. They were second on the table. But they fired their manager. Ismail Ghani. Amos Frimpon, Jordan Opoku, Prince Aqua. Prince Aqua, one of those good acts of Heart of Light. Fatou! Much to the delight, his efforts being applauded by his colleagues on the bench. From Prince Aqua to Augustine Sefa, and that ball to Fatou. Was brilliant. He struggled in the first game against the Diana Stars. He couldn't score against Mediano Sporting Club. Waited until the third game in the competition to grab a brace. Jordan Opoku has been magnificent thus far. His passes. Absolutely phenomenal. Evans Ousu will thank his stars and all will always be grateful to Abbas Mohammed for receiving that red card against Midema. He came on as a substitute and has been a mainstay in this team since that appearance. Ashanti Gold on the offensive. They still have possession. Lovely footwork. This will not trouble goalkeeper Felix Anna. Came from the foot of Watara Salia. Oh, he switched to Ash Gold. He's got 10 goals for his club.
So we have done 20 minutes here at the Kumasi Stadium. It is still goalless between first place Asante Koroko and second place Ashanti Gold. And this is Emmanuel Jemfi, besting forward. It is still Jemfi. He has options to his left and decides to send in a Akela Fatal. Stop. McCarthy. And Chroma. Shafi. Down, no foul given. Mr. Kumasi has sent to now attacking. Now Jenfi. Mr. Nyako. Jenfi is flat offside. Assistant to referee one, Akwasi Brobe at Champon has his flat already up. So Imano Jenfi caught in the offside position. Koroko have won 15 of their last 29 meetings with Ashanti Gold. And they have recorded 9 defeats and 5 draws. And since 2010, the Porcupine Warriors have been the better side when it comes to meetings against Ash Gold. That's a 43-year-old Tanasiev Svetislav, the man from Serbia, we saw a while ago. A section of the fans here at the Kumasi Stadium. Midweek game, so don't be surprised. It's not impressive. It is not the best. The stands completely empty. So goalkeeper Frank Boatin will get us back. Shafiu now, he's being challenged by... Whoa! What a save! <laughs> Felix Arnon pulling another magnificent save here. And this surely will keep Kumasiya Santikoro going to this game. Look at it. It was Shafiu. The first ball was just great and that reflects it on the part of Felix Annan. Top, top, top quality goalkeeper. Won his first cup for the Black Stars in that international friendly against Mauritania. So he's on a kick for Ash Gold. Annan comes out. Fatal heads it. And the whistle is gone for. A free kick in favor of Kumasiya Santigroko. That Felix Anand save was absolutely brilliant. He stretched and pummeled the ball with his left arm. I remember he Save the penalty against Zesco United here in the group stages of the Confederation Cup. And indeed, undoubtedly one of the best on the domestic front, James Akamenko. Intelligent midfielder, he wins a free kick. That's the foul on James Akamenko. Steven Yanko repeated for that tackle on James Akamenko. James 
Zakamenko was signed in place of Teoflos Nyami. We will join Kodoko on loan in the second round of last season. One of the bright spots in that Siki Akono team, which kept their plays in the Ghanaian top flight after struggling in the first round. You remember they fired Bashir Hayford. Amos Frimpon brings the ball back to Ismail Abdul Ghani. Amos Frimpon is looking for Fatal. The flag is up for a foul against Fatal. So the referee says it was a push. Assistant referee demonstrating to Fatal that he pushed his opponent. on another appearance in the Intercontinental Club Championship after testing his first ever appearance this year. They hurriedly put a team together and competed and made it into the group stages. Eliminated the likes of Kairi Sharks. Kato's board! Another brilliant save by Felix Anand. He's pulled one, one more and he's kept Kumasiya Santikoroko in this game. This is brilliant reflexes on the part of Felix Anna. Just look at it. And Kuma did very, very well. The turning was absolutely brilliant. And Felix Anna was on hand to save Kumasiya Santikoroko. And it's a corner kick. Eric Donko's corner kick. It's all the Ashgul players and Koroko who have a side. Jemfa. Steven Yaku. So it's Jemfa. Major relief for the home fans. Major relief for the followers of Kumasi Asante Koroko. Asante go knocking on the doors of the Porcupine Warriors. They should have been two goals up by now, but for the brilliance of Felix Anand. Basay Ajim. Won that tackle against Manuel Jemfi. Ajim and Bedu. Fata. Bedu drives one from the distance. Activity wise, Ashanti Gold of the edge uh, in the front foot. Another boy enjoying a lion share of possession, but they have nothing to show on the score sheet. Intimate Apia McCarthy or sent back to Shafi and he sends it back. He sends it down the left hand side and he locates Watara. Half an hour gone, it is still goalless between Kumasiya Santikoroko 
and uh, Ashanti Gold. Top of the table clash between the two teams. Kumasi Ashanti Gold lead the table with six points after the two after a three-zero win over Techimon Eleven Wonders on Sunday. They had earlier recorded a 1-0 victory over Ibiana Stars. And Ash Gold still unbeaten. They are yet to concede. Evan Zouzou has been cautioned verbally by the referee. Turned by Ishmael Daniel Ajiman Bukhu. Nasia Santi Grogo undoubtedly the most successful Ghanaian club. of two continental titles. I think Hatsufuk has won the FA Cup more than Kumasiya Santi Groko, but Koroko they have superiority when it comes to the domestic league and continental glory. Augustine Sifa. So far to Prince Aqua. Aqua finds Emmanuel Jemfi. Jemfi racing down the right hand side. He's still having possession. He wins a corner kick. Emmanuel Jemfi wins a corner kick. He won the most fouls in the 2017-2018 season and also won the most penalties one I think is taken Evan Sousu Kumasiya Santi Groko left back driving one the ball Balloon over the top of that crossbar. Meanwhile, Eric Dronko has gold left back. He's on the pitch. Not too sure what happened to him. So that is the traveling fans. They've made their way or they've made their way here from Obuasi to witness this encounter. Supporters from Obuasi, a section of the Koroko fans here in the stands, showing their team on to victory. We would love to see another victory here. Like we're going to see the first substitution. Oh, you know, Eric Donko is limping. Uh, may not be able to return. So he will be forced to make a substitution.
That was a player of Ash Gold on the floor. Oh, so that's the incident. Clash of heads. So, play has been halted here at the Kumasi Sports Stadium. It's 35 minutes of proceedings. It is Kumasi Asante Gorogon Neo, Ashanti Gold Neo, NC Special Competition. That was Steven Yako on Shafi Umumuni, the Ash Gold captain. They are top maxman. So Eric Donko has been Eric replaced. The former Kumasi Asante Gorogon left back comes out and his place has been taken by Roland Amuzu. Amuzu can play at right back, he plays at left back, he plays as, as a winger as well. The young chap comes on for Eric Donko, 25 years of age. In his third season at Ashgrove. So Eric Donko has been forced to leave the pitch because of a tie injury. Amuzu, his first touch. Watara, James Akamenko surveys the pitch. Amos in Chroma is offside. He's one of those players who are very, very good when it comes to kicks. And I'm talking about Felix Anna. He's a very good kicker of the ball. Reminds me of, say, Alex Ferguson, who says before he signs a goalkeeper, the first thing he looks out for is his kicks. Those of you who have been following the philosophy of Manchester United, at least in the last two decades, you know they have signed some of the finest goalkeepers in the world. From Joseph Michael to Edwin van der Sar to Fabian Batez. And now they have uh, David De Gea. All of them are very good when it comes to kicks. Mosin Kroma sends the ball to Akamenko. Jordan Opoku kicking that ball out. So that's Jordan Opoku. He's the most experienced and the oldest player on the pitch. 37 years of age. Was drafted into Feyenoord Rotterdam from Feyenoord Academy at Gumwafete. At the age of 17, he played with former Ivy Coast International Salomon Kalu. Svetislav has to get back into his dedicated area. A coming. Apia Makaf. Watching up front. What a miss. Ball is still in play. And Amuzu's cross. Ball across the face of goal. Another let off. Okumasia Santi Koroko. That pass. Pass from Apia McCarthy was very, very look at that pass again. Intelligently done, beautifully done. The execution was very, very poor. Awful execution on the part of uh, Amos in Chroma. First, yellow 
part of the game. First yellow card of the game. And there's uh, Richard Doji. He receives the first yellow card in this afternoon's encounter. So it's five minutes to end the first half here at the Kumasi Sports Stadium. The home side, Kumasi Asante Koroko, Neo. Visitors, Ashanti Gold also, Neo. All cleared by Ajiman Bedi. the ball back to the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper great start play Samad Akamin Samad and Koma Shanti Gold gave Kumasi a Santi a stand test in the John Ejikun Kufo Foundation Cup game, which was played here, it ended 1 1. The game was played to raise funds for the former president's foundation. Shafi. Apia McCarthy. I remember Tanisiewicz there. Ashanti Gold manager complained about the quality of the on the pitch. He says he was very heavy and hard on the day. And, uh, one of the things he mentioned was his team is able, able, able to play on good pitches. He is now playing left foot football. It's going to be a foul in favour of the minus. Evan Tosu. Amos and Koma. Amos from Pop. Gani. First possession. It's like the ball touched the hand of the Arsenal player, so it's going to be. Free kick for Asante Koropo. Ajiman comes up. James. Amos Fimpon. Vinyaku. boy is also looking very entertaining, easy on the eyes. Playing some delightful football, much the admiration of the fans here, applauding their effort. Evan Sousu. Ajiman Bidu. Foul against Marcia Santigroco and the culprit is uh, Abdul Fatal Safiu, the former Te Techiman 11 Wonders player. He scored two goals against his former team, one of the products of Inter Allies. to the United States of America to play for a season and came back. Joined 11 wonders before he switched to Kotoko. He is Siki Akono's preferred choice up front, Prince Aqua. 
Steven Yak. Scored against Zesco in the final Group C game in Indola. Steven Yak is offside. James are coming going, so I sent to go to have the advantage. We are doing three minutes of time at the top. So we are into other time here at the Kumasi Sports Center. We have exhausted the 45 minutes. And it is still goalless between Kumasi Asante Kroko and Ashanti Gold. Ash Gold are still unbeaten. They are yet to concede a goal. And Fatal enters the box. Clearance by Osei Ajiman. Blonde head Osei Ajiman clearing his lines. Koroko wins the corner kick. He's playing against his former team. He was transferred listed before the commencement of the second round of last season and he decided to join CK Akono at Ashanti Gold so it means CK is also playing against his former club he played for Ash Gold and later became a coach I think he's taken out by Osei and he falls to Jordan what a save Marcia Santikorokos, brightest chance all afternoon. And Frank Boatin standing between Koroko and the first goal here at the Kumasi Sports Stadium. That was well struck, came from the right foot of Jordan Opoku. Ferocious drive. And a wonderful save. From Frank Boatin, the Ash Gold goalkeeper. We have done three minutes out of the five minutes at a time. An entertaining afternoon here yeah, at the Kumasi Sports Stadium. Ashanti Gold creating numerous opportunities, Felix Anan. So there goes the whistle for the end of the first 45 minutes. It is deadlock. Charles Bulu has whistled for the end of the first half here yeah, at the Kumasi Sports Stadium. Kumasi Asante Kroko for the second time in this competition. We'll go into the lock.